Hold on to your seats. We have singles action coming up next. We have a real fan favorite against an imposing adversary. Making his way to the ring from Stillwater, weighing in at 280 pounds, the Terror. Did you guys see the WWE 24 episode about Buzz? I highly recommend it. Yeah, you also highly recommend a sushi joint when we're in Topeka. I think I'm gonna pass. Guys, where, where's the conga line? Where'd everybody go? They got smart. Ah, that's all right. No way Jose's here. We can still party! Byron, you could be a one-man conga line. I could. The thing that really troubles me is it doesn't seem as though no way Jose even realized that his conga line's not here anymore. Hey. The guy's just dancing. He's the life of the party, Corey. The scary thing is, as much as I like to make fun of his dancing, the guy's got one of the hardest right hands in sports entertainment. Can you imagine hitting the club with No Way Jose? I'd rather not. There's such an infectious attitude. So fun to watch, man. I love No Way Jose. It's like hand, foot, and mouth disease. That's not very nice. Singles action is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. Guys, there's nights when everything's clicking for you. And I'd say this superstar's last match was one of those nights. Around the waist. Power! Spine buster! His shoulders are down. And he kicks out. It'll take a lot more than that to keep him down. When you talk about nights where everything just seems to be clicking, you can't help but think about the magical night Daniel Bryan had at WrestleMania 30. Yeah, that's right. Not only did he defeat Triple H in the first match of the night, but he also went on to bookend the card with an amazing win over Batista and Randy Orton to capture the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. If that's not firing on all cylinders, I don't know what is. Rotted leg. Plenty of excitement in this superstar's last match, guys, but while this might be met with a degree of criticism, I don't really care how exciting a match is. To me, it's all about getting the win, regardless of how exciting the match is. 
Ooh, what impact. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about gonna... to find out. Oh, Sidewalk slam, but he's got to capitalize now. How's No Way Jose going to survive? Oh my! Back in the ring again. As we all know, Hell in a Cell matches tend to deteriorate once the competitors leave the confines of the ring. Drop kick! It hits the mark. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. A striking blow. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about gonna... to find out. Oh, he's gonna... Beautiful technique. Incredible. Oh, man. No way Jose really needs to dig down deep. Of course, guys, we all remember the 1998 battle between Mankind and Undertaker. And all these years later, fans still refer to it as one of the greatest Hell in a Cell matches of all time. As Michael was saying, I will never forget the Mankind Undertaker match. Just the sight of mankind flying through the air is something that will be ingrained in my memory forever. And while mankind's the story of that match, I think a lot of people forget it was actually Undertaker who walked out of that match victorious. Oh, what a flip! Nice body control. I don't know about you guys, but for me, there is no greater thrill than being at the announce desk for a Hell in a Cell match. You know, I'm a little surprised, Corey, to hear you talk about the thrill of announcing a Hell in a Cell match, considering now that got those shoulders on the mat, and he got a near fall out of it. I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? Guys, we oftentimes talk about the dangers. This could be all she but he's running on fumes here. He's going for the pin. What a match. I mean, what an unbelievable match. What a victory. WWE scholars in the future will look back at this Hell in a Cell match as one of the greatest of all time. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. Wow. I haven't seen a match like that in a long time. I might go home and watch a replay. It was that good. Here is your winner, The Terror. Without even breaking a sweat, this one is over. Great effort from both these guys, Michael. I'm willing to bet this isn't the last time we see them square off. Don't adjust your TV, folks. This Vegas crowd really is this loud.